Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave, and today we're going to be looking at how Denis Suarez will fit into Emery's arsenal. Make sure, of course, to like the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's get this party started. Arsenal have signed Barcelona's Denis Suarez on loan for the rest of the season with an option to make the move permanent at the end of the year. But who is Denis Suarez? A Spain international Suarez came through at Celta Vigo Youth Academy before being signed by Manchester City. He failed to make a single first team appearance for the Blues despite being named as Manchester City's Young Player of the Year in his debut season. Barcelona snapped up the youngster and loaned him to Sevilla the following year. As part of the deal as well, saw Ivan Rakitic move to the new Camp. At Seville, Suarez met Unai Emery, where he spoke very highly of the tactician. He's one of the best coaches around, he really gets the best out of us. He considers each and every one of the players and will put those who are in the best possible shape in his starting lineup. I've been playing for him for a year and I am really happy. Suarez's season with Emery ended with a permanent move to Villarreal, where he finished as the Europa League's top assister with seven assists. His performances under Marcelino earned him a move back to Barcelona, where he struggled for game time. He's played just 1,784 La Liga minutes across his three seasons at Barcelona, managing just 17 this season. But where will he fit in at Arsenal? Denis Suarez is a wide playmaker, a player that's positioned out wide but looks to move infield with or without the ball to find space to create for his teammates. A wide playmaker is usually a team's primary source of creativity. Think Riyad Mahrez when he was at Leicester City. In the season that Denis Suarez earned his move back to Barcelona, he became Villarreal's main man. They set up in an aggressive 4-4-2 similar to Diego Simeone's Atletico. Villarreal came fourth in the Liga, only conceding 35 goals in 38 games, but they only scored 44. A very much unpolished Atletico Madrid. They were in fact though unbeaten at home against the top three sides, that is Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico. The Yellow Submarine set up in a narrow, compact 4-4-2 that season, and Suarez was their key man in attack. Bruno and Trigueros played as a pair of double sixes in central midfield, which meant that the space would open up for Suarez to move into number 10 and create or link up with Bakambu and Soldado. Denis Suarez was directly involved in 18% of Villarreal's 44 La Liga goals that season, more than any other Villarreal midfielder. One of his best displays for Villarreal came in the first leg of the Europa League semi-final against Liverpool. A constant threat first on the left wing, moving inside to combine with the two strikers and then on the right. His assist for the winner showcases role and skills. Coming narrow from the right wing, he checked his shoulder, dropped a lovely dink pass to Adrian, instantly span and sprinted into the channel. Bruno found him with the ball over the top, brilliant first touch, head up, slides the ball across for Bakambu to score into an empty net. But what was more impressive throughout that season at Villarreal was his defensive work rate. Playing as a wide playmaker, Suarez worked hard defensively, something that Meza Ozil has failed to do for Emery. He averaged 2.6 tackles per game, only Lucas Torreira and Granit Xhaka have attempted more for Arsenal this season. Compare this to Arsenal's creative players, Henrik Mkhitaryan, Lacazette, Ramsey, Abemiang, and Ozil Nwobi, and you see that Denis Suarez is massively ahead. For Arsenal, I could see Emery either using three at the back or four at the back with Denis Suarez in the side. First up, let's talk about three at the back. Arsenal have played a 3-4-2-1 this season. You can easily see Denis Suarez playing probably next to Henrik Mkhitaryan at attacking midfield, combining with the Armenian playmaker for one of the forwards, either Lacazette or Abemiang. But what I think really would suit Denis Suarez is four at the back. Emery's used the 4-4-2 at times this season, both in a diamond and then a flat four. A midfield four of Suarez on the left wing, Xhaka and Torre in the middle, and Henrik Mkhitaryan on the right could see a lot of fluidity in the final third. This could easily transition to a diamond shape with either Suarez or Mkhitaryan at the tip, or alternatively go to a 4-2-2-2 with both playmakers behind Lacazette and Abemiang, similar to what potentially you'd see at RB Leipzig under someone like Ralf Hasenhutl. This setup would allow both Abemiang and Lacazette to play up front, and could see Henrik Mkhitaryan return to his favoured position. The work rate of Mkhitaryan and Suarez in the stable double pivot of Xhaka or Guendouzi and Torreira combined with the pace on the counter of Lacazette and Aubameyang could see Arsenal dropping deep into their 4-4-2 before exploding on the counter-attack through the channels. Like all good Emery sides, Arsenal will look to break wide quickly before working dangerous cutbacks for goal-scoring opportunities and could make Arsenal dominant in the bigger games against the likes of Manchester City and Liverpool. 
Liverpool. But as well, if they can get the lead against those weaker sides and sort of draw them out, coax them out for that counter-attacking opportunity, going to be deadly with Denis Suarez as a wide playmaker in the side. The acquisition of Suarez could be a smart move for Arsenal if he can return to his Villarreal form. However, the Spaniard hasn't played a lot of football at Barcelona and could take a while to return to form. But if Emery can nurse him back to his best, Suarez can not only bring the creativity, but defensive awareness as well for Una Emery's Arsenal. What do you guys think? Is Denis Suarez going to be a good signing for Arsenal? Can it push them back to the top four? Of course, subscribe if you're new and like that goddamn video. I've been Statman Dave. Till next time. If you've enjoyed this content, why not check out my playlist of predictions? We're talking Champions League and Premier League, or alternatively, if you like your tactics, what is ah, a great playlist about all types of tactical roles around the world of football?